Hello. Hello. Welcome to Our Dinner is Done. Uh, if you haven't been here before, I'm Sally. I'm Jimmy. And this is Jimmy. You can do it. Yeah. It's going yeah. to end up turning it off. <laughs> Um, so yes, this is our cooking channel. We like to cook at home. Um, so this is just some of the easy stuff that we make at home. Uh, if you are joining us for the first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. It is the day after Thanksgiving. So most people are probably eating leftovers mm -hmm. today. And we did make leftovers this morning, well, this afternoon for lunch. We already did that. <laughs> we ate our leftovers. Um, and we actually cooked uh, a reasonable amount of food today. It's a first. So for the first time ever, normally we cook a ton of food for a ton of guests, but this year we had a much smaller holiday, so we, um, you know, cooked a reasonable amount of food, and we had just enough to give um, our family some some to go containers that they picked up from us, and then we had some leftovers for lunch. So yeah. tonight we're just going to make a really easy and light pasta. Um, Hey Grace. Hi Gracie. Uh, this is a really easy and light pasta. You can make it vegetarian. This is, if this you, is Grace friendly. Yeah, this is much. Grace Definitely friendly. Uh, just you would just take out the anchovies. You wouldn't use them. We have posted the recipe, this recipe before on our Instagram page, but we never demonstrated uh, like how to cook it. We ne never did a how to. So this is what we're gonna do tonight. It's one of our favorite pastas. It's super easy. Oh, wow, that's so hot to talk um, It's really, really super easy, and you use some vegetables. Uh, we add uh, anchovy, and um, you this use a long This is inspired by the meal we had in Florence. That's right. We were just talking about that. Yes, the, the, other day. the other day. Yeah. So we had this meal uh, when we were in honeymooning in Italy. We had a really wonderful mm -hmm. meal at a place called... Vinny Vici Asapori, I think. I forget the name, but something like that. Um, and we don't need a ton of meat, so I had a pasta dish with zucchini, and it was absolutely incredible. Super simple, super easy, but ama tasted amazing. So when we came back home, we tried to recreate it, and this is our take on that dish. So it's a very easy dish. We already have some water boiling on the stove, or getting ready to boil on the stove. We're going to be using fettuccine today. You could use linguine, you could use spaghetti, whatever you have on hand. I prefer a longer noodle with this dish, I think, uh, versus something short. But it's good whatever you're going to you use. You can always prefer a longer noodle. Yeah, we just like to have things. longer noodles uh, most of the time. So we have some little green zucchinis that we, that we got from our Misfit box this week. And since they're really tiny, we're going to use these kind of little yellow squash as well. We're going to use them all. We're gonna use some shallots tonight. Um, we've been liking shallots over onions recently, so we're gonna be using that. And we are stocked up on shallots. Yeah, we have a ton of shallots. <laughs> we're gonna be using some shallots tonight instead of onion. If you have onion instead, you could use certainly use that at home. But shallots are more miles for children. Uh, we have some capers, some anchovies, some Parmesan cheese, some garlic powder, salt, you know, salt, pepper, all the usual stuff that we use, uh, and then we're gonna. Oh, I forgot we had a little bottle. We'll need both. But we'll need both. Okay. All right, so this is really easy. We're just going to dice up some of these zucchinis. We're going to saute them up, throw a little anchovy zucchini in. Zucchini first, actually. Yeah, the zucchini first. They take a bit. Um, they take a little bit more time yet to cook. The, the, the shallots we're going to do really small, so they won't take that long. This dish comes together in like a half hour. Yeah. It's a, if that, it's a nice, quick meal. Yeah, which is so this is a nice one. Lovely, especially if you spent all day yesterday in the kitchen, whether you're cooking for two or hopefully less than ten. Um, <laughs> yeah, hopefully. Um, so here we go. We love to use zucchini and um, these summer, these like yellow summer squash. I think they're like pretty much the same kind of flavor profile, to be perfectly I think so honest. As well. yeah. um, they look a little different, but they have a really similar taste. So he's just going to kind of dice these up, and you're doing them in like a little medallions. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to cut them relatively thin. I'd say mm -hmm. not even a quarter inch, probably an eighth of an inch. Mm -hmm. Just because I want them to cook down, because they'll they'll start to. Cook down to the point they almost like liquefy they into kind of the sauce. Melt, they become yeah. part of the sauce. And this sauce is so simple too. Yeah, it's really it's one simple. Of my favorite things about it. We're just gonna. It's, ve it's very Italian. It's very it rustic, like true Italian. With you know, consider this one ingredient. So one, two, three, 
four, five ingredients. Yeah. Like that's as Italian as you can get. You the pasta doesn't count, that's the vehicle. Mm -hmm. But like when you're in a five ingredients um, meal, I feel like you're cooking Italian. Mm -hmm. okay, so I'm just slicing these up. Would you mind grabbing the olive oil? I oh, think sure. I must have put it away yesterday. Here we go. Here's some olive oil. We're going to be just sauteing this in some olive oil. We use whatever olive oil um, is on sale generally, but we do like to use extra virgin olive oil. The flavor is just a little bit more pronounced than our regular olive oil that sometimes is, it's usually olive oil like mixed with other olive, um, with other oils together. Yeah, you're going to pay a touch more for extra virgin, but it's worth it. And by a touch more, I mean like not even a dollar probably. Mm-hmm. You can go ahead and oil up well, that pan. Oil that up for you. Okay. I think Grace is the only one in the in the chat right now. <laughs> so thanks, Grace, for watching tonight. I'm sure a lot of people are kind of like still in food comas from the holiday. And, you know, maybe some people are still traveling. And, hmm. uh, but Fridays are pretty quiet on our stream. Yeah. But we decided we didn't cook last Friday because we were tired. <laughs> And we ordered sushi, so this Friday we're back. <laughs> we forgot it was Friday, too. Honestly, we did. Like, this morning, I was like, oh my gosh, it's Friday today. I totally forgot. What are we going to cook? Oh my gosh. Because especially between the holiday and I've been home from school for the pet over a week now, so yeah. I have no concept of days. Yeah, I'm going to put this on, uh, I'm going to put this on low heat right now just to kind of heat up, and then we'll turn it up to about medium when we put the zucchini in. This I love is, zucchini. So do I. We put it in a lot of pasta dishes. It's Whenever really, really we nice. see it on Misfit, we'll always we get it. it. Yeah. We have a summer vegetable, so I was really pleased when we were able to get it. Mm -hmm. This is a great dish in the summer. And this is actually part of the reason that we decided to make this tonight, too. Because Thanksgiving meals traditionally are pretty heavy. So, you know, most people are wearing their sweatpants or their leggings all day. And they're going to stuff their faces for Thanksgiving. So... This is a meal that's kind of a reset <laughs> the next day. It's a lot lighter. <laughs> that's so funny. Grace said every time she watches us uh, and she first comes on with hi guys, Naya runs to the window and starts barking. Oh. <laughs> and yeah, it does feel like Sunday today, doesn't it? It's The week's been a little bit crazy with the holiday. That's going to be great when it's not Sunday. Mm-hmm. We did some decorating today for the hop, for the Christmas holiday. Uh, we just, that's like usually our tradition in our house is to do it the, the day after yeah, Thanksgiving. Yeah. Um, so we started putting up. We were tempted to do it yesterday because it was we so, were. it was so nice out. It was warm yesterday. We weren't entertaining, so we like thought about it, but we we're also just enjoying laying around. Oh yeah, it was a nice, nice relaxing day. So he's gonna throw these in now, kind of space them out a little bit, not overcrowded. Um, are you just making them pretty? <laughs> uh, I'm just making them pretty, but I want to like cook them nice on both sides. Mm -hmm. So this is this is actually gonna take the longest. Yeah. Um, just to saute these. And they're gonna be yummy. Cause there's just, there's just so many of them. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna uh, have to do it in batches. Anybody else start their holiday decorations? I know a lot of people did them earlier this year with the year that we've had so far. Uh, it's been pretty wild and there's been a lot of hardship and uncertainty and fear. So people have started decorating earlier as a way to kind of calm their nerves and feel festive and, and happy. The minute we started decorating, I think we should have done this earlier. Yeah. We, could, we love our decorations. I'm just going to do a quick peek at the baby. Because it's eerily quiet in there. Yeah. He's just playing in the sand. We'll watch a TV. <laughs> um, so I turned this up to like medium high heat. I'm just gonna let this roast. Um, mm -hmm. It's gonna take like two minutes on each side, give or take. Mm -hmm. Maybe two to two to four minutes. So you're gonna do them in like batches? Yeah, just because there's actually so many it's sliced up to more than I thought it would. Yeah, we probably could have used one of each. <laughs> probably, but it's gonna look pretty with both. Mm -hmm. They cook down. I sliced they them do really cook thin. Down. So. I'm going to actually turn down this uh, water then, because we don't, I'll throw those in in a little bit, the pasta, mm -hmm. because we'll, we have some time with this. We could turn them in the pan. 
Sure. You mean I can move the, uh, yeah. the pasta back? Uh -huh. The water. Yes. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do to kind of uh, make this go a little bit faster. I'm hungry too. I'm, I'm starving. We ate our leftovers at, like, what time? Maybe 12? We ate breakfast too. We had the biscuits yeah. that we bought for everyone else. We ate those. Uh -huh. And then, um, so we made biscuits, biscuits yesterday to go with Thanksgiving. Um, had biscuits for breakfast, and then did we eat probably around 11 30, 12 o'clock? Mm hmm. We ate our leftovers. Yeah. Just let it warm up first. Yeah. Otherwise, it's going to soak up the oil too much. Um, so we're going to like kind of double team this here. Uh, what were those tomato things? Cafetes. Tomato cafetes in Greece. Yeah. Those, oh, that's so good. You know, that could be something we could do on the channel one day. We do have the recipe somewhere. Yeah. Um, we took, we've taken some cooking classes when we've traveled. And in Italy, we took a pasta making course with, um, with Den and Rob. You should follow them on yeah. Instagram. We put their, we put their handle up the other day. They're awesome. Such um, like good, fun, yeah. salt of the earth people. So we we uh, did their cooking class in Italy, but we also did a food and wine tour in Greece, and we went to a phenomenal cooking class there. Yes. Uh, but we learned how to make kifedes, which is basically a meatball, which is a Greek meatball, but we made um, tomato kifedes, which are like a vegetarian option, and they were really, really fabulous, and we had some awesome food in both Italy and Greece. Yeah. Um, the Mediterranean diet... Is a okay in my book? It's oh, really boy. the way to eat. They have longer lifespans. They're healthier. It definitely has to do with the food that they eat in those countries versus what we eat here, um, because we, you know, this is a They're country of convenience and fast food, and a lot of the time it's for cost and um, you know accessibility. It's definitely cost and accessibility. But uh, the food there, when you come back from those trips, you come back and go, oh, I don't want to eat any of the stuff sucks. here. Everything sucks. <laughs> so that's why we. Re Recreate these dishes like this. So we're going to just put those in for now. And actually, look at this. We have so many. Yeah. They're going to cook down a lot. And we'll throw the rest in. Um, so we'll kind of saute these up, get them going, and then we'll add some shallots. And then we'll add garlic. Like the garlic is going to be the last thing we add because that takes the shortest amount of time to cook and we don't want them to burn. And then we'll throw on our pasta in a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. so again, this is a really quick dish. We uh, will be posting this video on our YouTube channel later on if you're just catching us now or if you are catching this uh, after we do the live stream. You can always watch our videos on our YouTube channel. We just take our live streams and put them up there after, the, after we finish them. Uh, we also post recipes on our Instagram channel, so... If ever you want to know how to make something that we've made, you can find it there. Perfect. These are looking good and it's smelling good. So what he's done so far is he's sauteing these up in some olive oil, but he did season them with salt and pepper once he added them to the pan. All right, so as these are getting ready, I'm just going to get a plate ready to transfer them to once they're cooked through. I have my heat at medium high now on both pans. Just give it a nice saute. Um, I want them to get cooked through and tender, which shouldn't take that long. Uh, but I also want to get like a little bit of browning to, to all of them. Mm -hmm. Since they are, since I tried to cut them rather thin, They'll cook a little bit quicker. Oh yeah, they won't take nearly as long, depending on the cut. Ah. Yeah, that is nice. All right. Did you add uh, crushed red pepper to this as well? I put a little touch, yeah. Okay. We do love adding that to most of the dishes that we make. Salt, oh, pepper, nice. crushed red pepper. Uh, Oh, I didn't, no, I didn't do crushed red pepper. Oh, no, I didn't do red pepper. We have the, the grinder, the, the grinder, the exactly. mechalay. But it's the different colors. All right, so this looks good. Smells good. Um, the chat is pretty quiet today, but I would ask, 
what everybody ate yesterday uh, for the holiday if they celebrate. What they made. Grace, I know you made our potatoes. Did you end up making the carrots and some of the other veggies as well? I think that you said you were going to, but I know you made the potatoes, the garlic potatoes. And for anybody watching, when we made our garlic mashed potatoes the other day, we used uh, regular regular uh, cow's milk. But Grace, when she made them at home, she used unsweetened almond milk. Yeah, and, and you that can replace as well. any dairy substitute for dairy. Dairy, yeah. You could use any of the kind of like uh, almond milk or oat milk or something like that. Just you want to make sure that you go with the unsweetened versions. Yeah, and not like non flavor too. You don't want it to be like the vanilla. Which we should try because um, well, we've been using milk and cream. It hasn't been agreeing with you. It hasn't. Right? It doesn't agree with most people, I don't think. I'm just going to turn the heat down on this one a little bit. Yeah, that one's actually good. Um, would you give me another one? Yeah. Um, I can start doing that. Thank you. So I'll show you this in a second once I get these flipped. I'm getting a nice um, browning on each side, on the first side. And that is ideal. It is. You don't want to put the heat up too high. You don't want them to completely burn. Oh my god, a little grass over there. Whoops. <laughs> Only John and Grace like the carrots because she put too much pepper. <laughs> they were too spicy or? Did you put too much crushed red pepper? That's really funny. That has happened to us before. Pepper can get away from you. Yeah, and so now you can see they're getting, oops, and you can see that little bit of browning and that little bit of char. I don't want to overcook them, but I do want to touch a char. Um, the other ones are, this thing always gets hotter over there. I feel like yeah. that left side. It's funny because it's a smaller burner. I think it's the design of the pan. Uh, could it's be. It kind of radiates out mm -hmm. for that. It's warm in the center or hotter in the center. Yeah. It's okay though. That, those are perfect though. Mm -hmm. Actually. Yeah, she did too, but too spicy. Did you? You could add a little bit more of like the maple syrup when you do that. Uh, when you make those again, if you want them to be a little sweeter, you even add a little cinnamon as well. Yeah, that'll actually might bring up the heat too. The cinnamon. Cinnamon that is it's a warm spice. That's true. The maple syrup can help. All right, so these are looking good. good. With medley. All right, I'm gonna go get him. Right. Did you put a little seasoning in there? Oh, no. Nice. It's good. He might like that. All right, so these are actually good. Okay, right I'll pull them. Right, I'm gonna go get the baby. Get him started with his dinner. He's having broccoli and carrots with a touch of garlic. All right, so these, I uh, turned the heat up a little bit too much. They got a little bit away from me. Um, the beauty is, uh, since they're going into the sauce, I'm just going to grab them and throw them into another plate. Just shaking off a little bit of that oil. You can see as they cook through, they start to break up. And you can, the, the smell of them, the scent of them changes. Um, you can almost taste, you can almost smell a little bit of that fry, um, which is delicious. Yeah. Yeah, he likes it. Mikey likes it. 
<laughs> yum, 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 yum. I liked it. I wouldn't eat it. Come here. Oh, Look, no. watch me. Watch daddy. Look. Daddy can eat it. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mm. I like it. It's good. Mmm. Mm. There's a little right here. Yeah. Alright. For the last of these. Mmm. Yummy. That's good. Alright. So we got the last of these in here cooking up. Perfect. Now we can work our shallot. Um, and that pasta water is on the right. So yeah, so just leave it there. So for our shallot, we're going to cut just like an onion. So we have our hairy end on one side, top on the other. We're going to cut the top off. Then mm -hmm. we're going to just peel this. Yeah. Just want to peel that outside layer of skin. Mm -hmm. Nice and shiny. So I'm going to cut following the lines. And then I'm going to come back across three times because this is a larger shallot. Then I'm going to need a nice fine dice. I didn't put too much garlic in there. Is it too spicy for me? I don't know. And then I'm just going to bring that, these shallots to a nice dice. Finer the dice, the more they're going to liquefy in the sauce, which is ideal. Shallots do really cook down nicely in the sauce. Sometimes when you get the ends, bits of it will stay together. I'm actually just not going to use those. Turn a little, little bit tougher overall. And these longer pieces that stay together. Let's give them another quick shot. Take the zucchini. Throw a touch of salt. Touch of pepper. Maybe not quite a fan of the garlic. Yeah. I didn't do much, it's just a splash, but he hasn't really dug garlic so far. Mm -hmm. He's doing all right. It's not gonna like any our food then. <laughs> That's a problem. All right, so those are cooking down. I got my shallots chopped up, diced up. Get my garlic ready as well. What are you doing, the usual three to five? Yeah. I feel like that's generally what we do, three to five cloves. We like to go a little garlic heavy. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Except baby might disagree. <laughs> he seems to disagree with us. <laughs> the dog's ate already, right? Yes. So I just smash those garlic cloves, peel off the skin. Yeah. 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 Go. Now I'm going to give these a nice fine dice. This garlic is like funky a little bit on the end, so I'm just going to slice that off. Then for my nice fine dice, same as the onion, gonna slice it long ways through the center. And then a nice dice. Perfect. I'm gonna start flipping these over. Thank you. take a whole lot for this dish. No, that's the longest part right there. Just sauteing down the mm -hmm. zucchinis. Oh, I think baby's right. starting to like the food now. That he's feeding himself. Oh, that's what it is. Everything has to be himself. He's very independent. He did a full on, he saw the Christmas tree lit up today. He went on to all fours. The first time I had seen him like on all fours and did a full on crawl right at that tree. Very fast. It was really cool to watch. Yeah, what are you doing? Okay. All right, now I'm gonna put both of 
of these too. I actually love like really crispy ones. I mean, they'd be great just on their own. Yeah, they're almost like a little zucchini chip. Alright, I got my garlic diced. Those are my best dice, so I'm just going to come back and dice this up just a touch more. I like how you said that that wasn't your best. Every, anybody who watched our Thanksgiving meal saw that I can't cut vegetables <laughs> to uh, save my life. They're certainly not pretty when I do it. Touch more. There we go. These last little bits off my fingers. Garlic is ready. Onions are ready. Clean up the skins. Forgot my garbage bowl today. I can get one. That's all right. I got it. A Robert, thank you. <laughs> I try. I'm just not the chef that Jimmy is here. I make cer certain meals that are just mine. <laughs> Grace said you're superhuman when it comes to the knife skills, Jimmy. <laughs> I'm okay. I need to sharpen the knife. I'm we do that. need to sharpen them, that's true. I just don't have like the technique down. It's technique and just practice. You get more comfortable with the more you do it, the more comfortable that you get. That is true. Um, it's nerve. It's a sharp knife. You don't want to. It is. I do have a little bit of. So you're better of off. I mean, if you're not comfortable, you're better off on the floor. Yeah, I I will never be a speed chopper for sure. Um, I've been lucky with knives, not with not, not with, with the mandolin. Knives, the mandolin That's still true. terrifies me. That's true. I cringe every time I see it on a cooking show. And then use it without the guard. Oh. Jimmy never needed oh. OT. <laughs> what did I not need? Never needed OT. Ah. <laughs> All right, these are good to go. Yeah, I think these are as well. So I'm pull these. Just shake off a little of the excess oil. Oh, I actually like how charred they are. I think it's going to taste nice. Mm -hmm. These beautiful. I think he's starting to like this now. I'm gonna put a touch more olive oil in here. Mm -hmm. I turned the pan down to low. Yeah, so you're done with it. Yeah. Touch more olive oil for my shallots getting ready to go in. I turned it down to low because the oil was very hot. I want to bring it all up to an even temperature, so I want to bring it up nice and slowly, so I'll bring that up at low. Mm. How do you just this? It's really hot. I'm burning my fingers. I'll put it in your mouth. It's a mistake. I'll hold it like that. It's funny, I tell her not to do it, I'm going to throw it right in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Who does that every time? Mm. Or my oil is nice and hot, nice and even. You can see it moving around. So I have it on low just because, uh, again, I don't want these shallots to burn. They're going to sizzle right away. Oh, perfect. It did lower it just enough. Throw in my shallots. I'm going to coat them with a little salt and pepper. A little SP. I saw there's a restaurant somewhere in the area that opened up that's called Salt Pepper Catch Up, which yeah. I think is just hilarious. Such a great name. You were mentioning that the other day. That's, that is a good name for this region. Okay, I'm going to move up to this. SPK uh, means Salt Pepper Catch Up. For anybody who might not know. And you would normally say that you want a, you know, egg sandwich, egg and cheese, bacon, egg and cheese, Taylor ham, egg and cheese, SPK, Salt Pepper Catch Up. All right, so I threw my shallots, my heat, I'm going to turn up to medium, so low. I just want to sort, um, sort them around, so they're just coated in the olive oil, and then I'm just going to let them simmer. Now I can yeah. just let them sit. I just salted our pasta here, 
that is uh, just about where I want it, and I'm going to throw the pasta in. Sorry. What's up? Oh, gosh, you covered in stuff. I'm going to throw that in. This won't take mm. that long. The, on our stove, yummy, yummy. generally, these usually say about 10 minutes to cook. We mm. usually check them at about 8 minutes, so I'll put the timer on for 8 and then take mm. a look. This is fettuccine, so it may take just slightly yummy. longer. Uh, linguine usually that is a little bit less so time because it's thinner. A little bit. Mmm, yum, 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 uh, once these shallots are starting to get translucent and then we add the garlic in, it's only going to be like a matter of minutes before the sauce really comes together. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to uh, mess with these this fettuccine noodles so that they go down. Is fettuccine whole wheat? I don't know. Where's the bag? You know what? I just tossed the bag. They look like they're a whole what wheat pasta. Um... I'm kind of curious. Easy, Chug. Easy, crap boy. No, they're not, but they look a little darker. You? Yep. Thanks. All right. So these are starting to cook down. The smell of these shallots is amazing. It smells so good. Honestly, I could just eat this up. <laughs> just the way it is. Those are going to brown up. I'm going to give them a couple more minutes and then I'll um, start throwing in the other ingredients. Okay, so our pasta is all under water now. It's all submerged. So I'm going to put our timer on for eight minutes. They should be ready at that point. And you want it, you want them to be like just shy of al dente. Um, yeah. If you've watched this before, we always say that. You want them to still have a little bit of a bite to them because when you're going to make a sauce like this that you're going to toss it all into, uh, it's going to be able to cook a little bit more in there. So you don't want them to be super soft because then they're just going to get uh, mushy. And nobody wants a mushy noodle. Yeah. Oh, gross. Yeah, nobody wants that. So we're going to let that cook down. Is look good. Oh, baby said, Oh, he likes the idea of this. So you can already see um, that this is starting to brown up and they're starting to, to become more translucent and aromatic in here. Ooh, aromatic. Mm -hmm. Nice vocabulary word. We're both spe uh, special education teachers, so, and we've both worked with, uh, we have both worked with early childhood populations, so we both know the importance of exposing your children to lots of vocabulary in their young age, especially in infancy. The more vocabulary they have, the better as they get older, um, and there's actually a correlation, research shows that there's a correlation between the amount of vocabulary words a child learns um, before they're, I think before they're five years old? Yeah. I think it's five. Um, and it actually uh, correlates to future success, academic success, professional success, etc. Little they get sponges older. when they're babies. Yeah, they're little sponges. sponges. And that doesn't matter what language. I'm not talking about the English language alone. It just means vocabulary. Um, in general. So whatever language you speak at home. So we try to use big words with our baby. The words of the guy. There you go. If you can hear him over there, he's getting a little frustrated. That's a word we use with him a lot. You're feeling frustrated. He we dropped try to use like, appropriate language as well. It's not like you're... Well, yeah, they say, actually say too, I don't know if there's any parents in, uh, that ever watch us, but um, anybody who maybe uh, 
watches children you know, professionally or has children in their family, whether it's a niece, nephew, or their own child, um, you hear people use the phrase parentees. That's uh, basically the... Nice and light. Yes. <laughs> yes. The, the way parents or caretakers speak to their children in that kind of sing-songy way. All right. We were so also that, saying uh, the other day about like not saying crazy using like the appropriate language. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Like, oh, you're so wild right now or so silly. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, ab yeah, like ableist, ableist. language. Ableist. That was mm -hmm. like a new word. So okay. then, yep. pressure ed and then capers. Okay. Um, I'm not purposely adding juice, but whatever kind of splashes in there. Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah, so this was just some leftover that we had in that uh, jar there, so we're going to add more. Um, I, fi I figure we usually use, like, about, how many how many ounces is that jar? Four. So I think we usually use, like, two ounces? Yeah. About? Yeah, so one more. It's going to be a little briny, a little salty from the capers. Oh, so in capers. this saucepan right now, we've got our shallots, we've got some garlic, we have the capers, some salt pepper, and fresh red pepper, right? Yes, ma'am. All right, so that's good to go. We're going to let this kind of cook up now, too. Yeah, it's not the butter. Because this is all in olive oil, so now the butter is going to be put in there. We're going to add our zucchini in. Um, and then we also add the anchovies. I'm putting the anchovies in just a moment. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did, Grace. You're right. She said, wait, I had this with you over the summer. And she did. And she said it was delicious. That's right. We made it for you without the anchovies. Yeah, I think we I just forgot. kept the anchovies on the side for us. Yeah, yeah, we definitely did that. I forgot all about it. I'm just going to open the can with the oil, all the delicious flavor. Uh, hopefully, it's just dropping them right in. So I'm gonna let these like break up just yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you can break them up. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Thank you. Mm -hmm. We have a couple more minutes left on our pasta here. Um, I'm gonna check it in just a few minutes. Yeah. Yeah. It's oh my gosh! Yeah, we haven't used them forever. forever. Yeah, and now he seems to like it. So anchovies it. kind of melt away when you use them uh, like this. So I'm not going to use the whole. Up. You can buy the paste in like a tube, but you could. But I, I like this because ones. yeah, because sometimes we'll just eat them. We the eat them like this, and yeah. And some Italian bread. Yeah, these are so pink today. These anchovies. They are. It's a different brand than we usually get. These oh. are the King Oscar. Oh, okay. So it's we neat. have been getting a different brand actually. We've gotten different brands because we get whatever's on sale. I didn't know. I scared the shit out of me. <laughs> it's just like a bit. Nice. Now we can start adding the butter. Yeah, some butter. I'm actually just going to check out the And by butter. some, we mean a, lot. a fair amount. Uh, that's, let's say that's one, two, that's like three tablespoons. We're going to start there. <laughs> yeah, Grace. Um, Meatball loves to be around the baby's high chair when he eats. Uh, the boys do. Ricky does not really care. I think H Hogan was the first one to figure it out, which we knew. Which for we knew sure what was going to happen, yeah. So at this point, I have it just on medium heat because everything is, is cooked. Um, it's just a matter of heating through. Yeah. So I added those three tablespoons of butter. Now we have a nice base for our sauce. Mm hmm This needs to give it... Like one done. more second. One. Mm -hmm. Stir that up a little bit. Funny. One more minute. How about that? That's better. You have one the camera on. How about 35 seconds? Yeah, 35 seconds and then we're ready. So it was like really like eight minutes on the dot. Yeah. I feel like we're getting to know our burners and our oven better. The more you cook, it's True. kind of funny. We were having this conversation with my uh, cousin, Yanni. Mm -hmm. And how he was saying he was like a marvel. That we have, he's so bummed. He has a um, 
electric range. And he was like, oh, the gas range is so much easier to control, and things cook it, and more even raised. He's like, it took me years to get used to my electric burners. And like, oh, you know what? I don't really know how I'm used to my burners. That's true. Electric burners and, and gas stove tops definitely cook different uh, different rates for sure. Okay. So now this is in here, and now we can start adding the pasta, and we're going to add some pasta water as well. Yes. Mm. Oh. Turn that off. Yeah, they're right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Someone likes this now. Yeah, okay. that's great. Okay. Sure. We'll actually need it when we plate. Well, oh no, we'll use the tongs. So again, as Sally said, we don't want to overcook the pasta. So we pull it before. It's just slightly before al dente. Al dente means it just has a little bit of a height to it, if you will. You don't want it to be mush. It's not for a baby. Not yet. No. Um, I'm going to have to use just a faucet piece too. So now I'm just going to toss everything, and then I'm going to add about a quarter cup of the pasta liquid mm -hmm. to start. So when I'm tossing the pasta, what I'm really just trying to do is mix everything from the bottom, which is the base of my sauce, to the top. Um, with really no rhyme or reason. I'm just kind of, I'm <laughs> you know what I'm doing? I'm hmm. folding the pasta. Fold, fold it in, if anybody's Spanish. It's great. It's great. Fold it in. You gotta fold it in. How do you fold it in? It says, fold it, it says, in. Fold. I'm telling you to fold. There was a great meme about about teaching and about um, how departments of ed were like, oh, you know, just use remote. Like, just fold it. Just fold it in. Uh -huh. I don't know what fold means. Uh -huh. All right. You so keep I just saying fold it in. Keep saying fold it. I missed that show. Me too. We should probably uh, just we're, we're gonna rewatch it for sure. It's a great show if you haven't seen it. Although we have been watching uh, the new. Not a new season, I guess. The new version? The new, the new version, version of Clear Eye. Eye, which mm -hmm. has been wonderful. So, this is a little bit liquidy. Mm -hmm. Easily resolved with some butter. butter. I'm going to add uh, just over a tablespoon. Perfect. And I turn the heat off when this is all together. The pan's hot, so that's going to continue to cook the pasta. So again, I don't, I don't want to overcook it. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, that looks great. That's it. That's really there. So looks you so you just want it to have like a sauce-like consistency. Um, and you can kind of be the judge of that. If you wanted it to be a touch runny, it's coming. Hi, it's coming. If you wanted it to be a touch runny, by all means, you could go for that. If you want it to be, um, like by runny, I mean a little extra saucy. If you want it a little bit thicker, you add a little more butter. Mm -hmm. This looks... Tremendous. We're going to add a touch of cheese. Touch of cheese. Yep. We always like to add cheese. I like to add the cheese in it and then on it. And then we put well. it on it when we plate. So, so that's about four tablespoons. Mm -hmm. La Catelle. Um, I pretty much said I'm going to just do this exclusively. It's more expensive. Yeah, that's like, great. It's significantly more expensive. I'd say like a one of those containers of craft uh, Parmesan is probably what? Like Two bucks, three bucks, mm -hmm. and a container of the Lacatel, which this is eight ounces. So it's actually probably the same size, but this is like eight bucks. If you're paying like five dollars more, but it is tremendously better cheese. Like so, if you're, I, we love cheese, and I just feel like it's worth it. It's also my dad's favorite cheese, so it's kind of nostalgic for me as well. Why do you keep doing it with my Because then you pick it up, and that's very important. So the cheese is also served to thicken up my sauce a little bit as well. So now we're ready. Plate. Oh, that's good. Yeah, we're ready to plate. Mm. Yeah, I'm just gonna go. I just licked the butter spoon. I don't know why. It looks like a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of like butter. butter. I have licked butter. I don't suggest licking butter. It's just so rich. All right, I'm use my fancy tongs or tweezers. So I saw this on when we were on our honeymoon. We were in Florence. Sally was like getting ready, so 
I watched like a lot of like CNN and BBC because that's all that was in English, but I would often just turn on whatever was in Italian. Um, and I found like a cooking channel I, and it might've actually been like a hotel channel. And it was about their chain and they, it was on loop. So I watched it over and over again and they showed a chef plating pasta with tweezers and I thought it was the pretty much the most marvelous thing I'd ever seen. So I was like, I'm going to have tweezers one day to swirl my own pasta. And um, good old Amazon, Jeff Bezos. I saw a funny meme today about Mr. Bezos. They were comparing him to uh, one of the Caesars, one of the worst Caesars from Rome. Mm -hmm. That he was, because Jeff Bezos is now like the richest man ever in like modern history. He's the richest man of this time. And... Caesar was that rich as well, and Caesar, richest man of his time, and it was, you know, it was pretty negative on him. I don't know what your thoughts are, but how he exploits uh, his workers. The same was that he exploits his workers for, like, minimum wage, and, the, and Julius Caesar did the same thing, so it, like, earned, earned his riches off of that. And Julius Caesar died by, um, uh, this, this Caesar, I don't remember which one, by having gold, liquid gold, poured down his throat. His throat. Right I, have, I have heard that, yeah. I have heard that. So as we're cooking Italian, maybe, you know, why not have a little Italian history? Um, yeah, pretty wild. The Romans, they're fucking nuts. Pretty nice. <laughs> so I'm just going to get a wooden spoon just to get some of these good bits. So your good bits are going to end up on that side, and that's going to be your, your scallion, mm -hmm. your capers, and some of that zucchini and squash. It looks like there's way less zucchini and squash because it's actually almost it liquefied down. and cooked mm -hmm. down into the pasta. But I like to just pleat a little of that zucchini and squash on top, purely for the aesthetics, because you eat with your eyes. Yeah, and we're ready to eat, so yeah. he's going to show you what this looks like, and our dinner is done. And we will post the recipe uh, to this again on our Instagram page, um, so if you don't follow us there, follow us. And on our YouTube page, we will post this video up on there as well later on. Um, so thank you for joining us as usual. I know many people are going to be eating their Thanksgiving leftovers, but when you want a lighter meal um, after all of the turkey dinner, you could definitely try this zucchini and anchovy pasta. Bon appetito. Bon appetit. So <laughs> I'm going to um, raid another stream. So hang tight, and I will find someone for us to uh, watch. Somebody's cooking? Yeah. We'll be here. I tried to check. They have subscriber only. Hold on. Let me try to find another one. Subscriber only must be ballers. <laughs> Thank you.